everybody. Uh, this lesson is uh, more circumference and arc length of circles. All right, so um, uh, here's our board problem. It's similar to yesterday's. Lots of p-triples here. So let's go ahead and find the area of each. Remember, area is always in square units. Okay, so otherwise it's in just plain old units. Like today, circumference is units and arc length is units. Okay, so here, let's do them one at a time. So we got this um, uh, rectangle. Rectangles are just length times width or base times height. So 19 times 9. I know I know 20 times 9. 2 times 9 is going over this with a student of mine today. 2 times 9 is 18. So 20 times 9 is 18 with a 0 or 180. And 19 is 1 less than 20, so take a 9 off of 180, get 171. Okay, meter squared. Don't forget, meter squared, okay? All right, so this is a P-triple. This is a 724.25 P-triple. If I multiply all of these by 2, we get 14, 48, 50. Here's 48 and 50, so this one has to be 14. So triangles are 1 half base times height, and so we get 336 inches squared, okay? All right, this one here, um, this is an isosceles isosceles triangle isosceles triangles it only on isosceles triangles when you draw that altitude it bisects that base so 15 and 17 makes a p triple uh, 8 15 17 is a right triangle p triple 8 15 17 okay so here's the triangle with the stuff we need 30 times 8 and then half of that and you get 120 feet squared okay all right here's another rhombus a rhombus the diagonals are perpendicular so if they got perpendicular we've got a right angle which is a right triangle so 5 12 13 is my p triple so the area of a of a rhombus if we don't know the height because a rhombus is a parallelogram i was talking with another student this morning if i knew this height i just do 13 times the height right there but we don't know the height right there so and then the other formula is multiply the diagonals and take half of it. So it's half the product of the diagonals. So one diagonal is uh, the 24, one diagonal is 10. So you get 120 centimeters squared. Don't forget it's half of that, okay? All right, here, um, okay, uh, this is a kite. The kites make right angles with the diagonals also. All right, so right angle means right triangle right there. So this is a three, four, five right triangle. So that side's three, which means now the other thing on kites is um, the shorter diagonal is always bisected. Okay, the longer diagonal is not bisected. If it was bisected, it'd be a parallelogram because that's one of the five ways to prove a quad is a parallelogram is if both diagonals bisect each other. So it can't have both diagonals, but on kites, one diagonal is bisected by the other. So if that's three, that's three. And then this is like a rhombus. It's half the product of the diagonal. So four and three is 17, three and three is six. So half of that product is... 51 okay meter squared don't forget the squared part okay this one's not drawn to scale i need the altitude this is a, a trapezoid so it would be base one plus base two half of that times this altitude so we need the altitude so i'm going to construct it right here and make a right triangle okay now notice the figure is not drawn to scale so if i drew that straight over here's a rectangle if this side's three then this side's three making this be an eight because the whole piece is 11 now can you see that's not drawn to scale because this one's eight and this one's three Okay, SAT test makers love to do this, not drawn to scale, and it's not. So anyway, so this is an 8, 15, 17 right triangle. Okay, so there's the height right there, 15. So the area of a trapezoid is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height, and you plug it in, we get a 105, 105 yards squared. Okay, so here we go. More circumference and arc length. So from yesterday's lesson and the day before, circumference is 2 pi r, or pi times diameter, depending on which one they give you. And then the arc length is um, whatever the, the central angle is, which is in. The whole circle is 360. So the arc length is just uh, the fraction of the circumference. Okay, so there's the circumference 2 pi r, and so the fraction of the circumference is n over 360. Okay, all right, we're going to use that on all of these. Find the indicated measure. Okay, this says find the circumference. Okay, this deals with that arc length formula that we just talked about right there. Now, this is my circumference right there. So we just need to find out what is 2 pi r. We don't need to know what r is. 
We just know we need to know what, what is 2 pi r. So I'm going to replace this with c. This is just c right here. Okay, this is 75, and then this is uh, 6.82. Okay, so if we put that in there, now we're just solving for c. Okay, so to get rid of this fraction, you can reduce it if you want. I'm choosing not to because uh, we're going to have decimal answers, so which means you're going to be picking up a calculator. So we might as well just go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal right now. Okay, so when we do that, Multiply 6.82 times 360, whatever that is, divided by 75, and then that tells me that C, which is our circumference, is 32.74 centimeters. Okay, now circumference is just units. Area is square units. Okay, this one says find the length of arc AB. So here's our formula right there. Okay, so this is 45. The, the radius is 15. So we're looking for L. So just plug in everything right there. And uh, as long as we do our, our cross-canceling right there, and then the 2 goes into 8 4 times, and so we get 15 pi over 4. Uh, inches or um, uh, when you do 15 times 3.141526 something um, uh, divided by 4 uh, you get about 11.78 inches on that okay this one says uh, find the measure of the arc okay so the measure of the arc is the same as this central angle so I'm going to just say this is n, and then this measure is also n, okay? It's not the same as the length formula, okay? So the measure of the angle, and that's what we're looking for, is this measure of this angle. It's going to equal, central angles are equal to the measure of their intercepted arcs. So this measure of this angle equals this central angle n. So we're looking for n in this case. So plug in the 40. They told us the length of the arc is 40. Okay, the radius is 15.28. So we're going to plug all that in. Now what I did was is I multiplied 2 times 3.141592 something something. Okay, times 15.8 and I got... Um, 96.007 and then I'm going to take that and divide it by the 360 here's that n right there that n gets floated out okay I got that 96 point blah 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 from that stuff right there okay so now I'm going to go ahead and divide it by 360 and I get that now we're going to divide both sides by 0.266686 and we get I think we get like 149.9997 something like that so about 150 degrees on that okay so it's 150 degrees all right okay this one says find the radius okay so we're going to use our good old formula again and plug in all our necessary stuff okay and we're looking for the radius we're solving for r right there so we just plug it in our calculator and um, uh, so 150 times 2 times 3.141592626 something something divided by 360 I get about 2.618 and then 10 divided by 2.618 is about 4.01. So, whoops, I forgot to put uh, uh, feet on there. 4.01 feet, okay? So you guys uh, insert that, okay? All right, so in circle P, it says angle uh, QPR. So here's QPR is equal to angle R. P S. So if this angle equals this angle, then this arc here equals this arc here. Okay? All right, let's answer some questions here. So it says find the measure of angle. Whoops, and there's a radius 6. I didn't put that in there in the last part. So the radius is 6. Find the measure of arc QRS. So start here. Q R S. Well, the whole circle is 360, so if I take off that, we get 310. 310 degrees. Okay, find the length of QRS. So we use our formula. So 310 divided by 360 times 2 pi r. The radius is uh, 6. So we crank all that stuff out and we get about, about 32.46 inches. Okay. All right, so approximately. So these are decimal answers today. Yesterday I liked um, answers in terms of pi, so these are decimal answers. Let's find the measure of arc QR. Okay, that's this guy right here. Well, if the whole arc all the way around is 310, and these two guys are equal, so I divide 310 divided by 2, and I get 155 right there. Okay, so find uh, the measure of arc RSQ. Okay, so R S is 155 because it's the same as QR, and then SQ is 50, so we're going to add 155 plus 50, and that's going to give us 205. Okay, the length of QR, okay, the length of QR, we're going to use our formula for our N over 360 
times 2 pi r and send and we're going to plug in 155 over 360 times 2 pi r so we get about 16.23 okay uh, let's see so this one says find the length of arc s uh, r s q okay so r s q remember that equals uh, 205 degrees so it's 205 divided by 360 times 2 pi r so so punch it all in you get about 21.47 inches all right if you are in my class you're going to get a worksheet today hooray okay take care